collection of memoirs of love and hate is something that I've had in my spirit since I started my career seven years ago. My first muse, um, and the thing that I paint the most of is the American flag because the American flag represents who I am. It gives um, a specific dichotomy of an invitation that brings you in from an aspect of warmth and being comfortable. But there's so much uh, of a darker content behind what goes behind those 50 stars and 13 stripes in those three colors of red, white, and blue. The simplicity of it gives it an elegance, um, almost like a symphony that's playing throughout this dance of a ballerina that is painting a story. But then you have to look at what those things have been built upon. Um, the love side is the freedoms of what we have within this country. You know, there's so many, I would say, liberations that we take for granted and opportunities. But the basis of those, if you go backwards, into centuries and centuries, hundreds and hundreds of years ago of what those things were, were portrayed and then what went into those things from, um, you know, from slavery to, uh, you know, the, the conquering of this land from the indigenous people, which we call Indians. Um, you know, they were the originators. And what people have to understand is that in order to take over something, there is going to be lies told. There's going to be deceit um, and everything is not gonna be beautiful. So that's where uh, the love and the hate side both come. You know, these pieces, they will, they will be provoking because they will provoke a specific emotion that you try to run and hide from. It will keep you in a space to where you'll want to stay in that space but then at some moment in time once you reach that 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 pungent part of the content it's going to make you want to run but still that love side of, of what it represents is going to make you want to stay in that pocket from a specific standpoint um there's a piece titled the ones we forget about and it's uh it's about a a, a young child who's in the first grade and they write a journal entry, and the journal entry is so heavy and, and, and just emotional, but the child can barely spell. But these are the, it, it's titled The Ones That We Forget About because we forget about that aspect of the world whenever these things of content are being displayed to us, whether it be through media or newsletter or social media, but everything is, is so in our face. To be specific, the child is writing about seeing their father shot by a police officer over the weekend, and they don't even know if he's dead or alive, but at the end of the journal entry, the child says, I don't want to be shot and die like him. But that was also the child's hero. And the, the irony to that is his teacher, who he's writing this to in her classroom, her husband was the police officer that shot his, his father. So, um, you know, it's almost like you want to embrace the child, but then also, too, you feel for the child and you want to shed a tear for the child. And then you become angry at the actual dialect and the, the motion that has taken place to affect this child to where they understand the content of what's going on in the world and what happened, but from a simpler standpoint, they can barely spell. So it's like a contradiction which represents the, the layout of American history. And the journal entry is actually, it looks like it's painted on a piece of paper, but it's actually painted on an American flag. Um, and that, you know, that, that teeters on both sides. It gives you all of those emotions, from the love side to the hate side, um, you know, to the compassion side. And then I have a, another piece uh, titled Goliath, and it's just a giant 
flag made out of paper um, and it has stitching in it and all these different colors and the it's it's nine feet by four feet because as we know Goliath in the in, in the Bible we forget about him we only really focus on the triumph of, of David but Goliath filled up the presence of that actual moment because it was almost unbearable to where he could not be defeated and that's what the the premise goes into of this piece because it's such a large piece it's such a, a large figure of what we look at within that space but in certain aspects you know within American content we failed as a nation to actually just be righteous and to and to and to give um, the truth of what this country has been built upon so um, you know, I look at this collection, Memoirs of Love and Hate, as a therapy session, um, as a, a history lesson, and I want those two things to be able to ride upon each other's backs, to play off of one another, almost like, um, you know, it's two people uh, dancing a ballet uh, within this symphony that's playing um, all these different chaotic yet melodic sounds that all play into what we call America.